Hi, I'm Richard from Electric Classic Cars, and on this week's episode, we're going to go on a little adventure. Right, so what are we up to today? You've asked me to turn up with my walking shoes and a packed lunch, which I got, so what's the plan? Right, do you remember last weekend we went flying? I certainly do, yeah. Um, I was flying over the most desolate wilderness I've ever seen in Mid Wales, and I was trying to figure out where on earth we were. I was getting my bearings on Google Maps as my mate was flying, and up comes this like pin that said, geographical centre of Wales. And I thought, well, let's go and find that today. So that's the good news. The so what's the bad news? The bad news is, I have no idea how to get to it, right? So you're gonna to have to revive your old tow driving skills, dig out the map and figure out a route. Okay, so we're here. Yep. And I've marked the geographical centre of Wales as there. That's quite a way. That is quite a way. Now I can get us some of the way there, so I can get us to about there on the roads. Yep. But from there to there, that's your responsibility. Okay, so it's all off-road from there to there, and I would imagine there's going to be some walking in that as well. Yeah, I think we're the uh, last few miles we're going to be on foot, mate. Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah. Mission accepted. Yeah. What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> right. You heard that here. Let's go. Now, for those that aren't familiar with the vehicle I'm driving, click on the link above, you can find out a lot more about it. But in short, it's a 90s Land Rover Defender with a Tesla motor underneath, midship, and 100 kilowatt hour of battery pack split between a front battery pack and a rear battery pack. 0 to 16, 3.6 seconds, so it's a little bit tasty uh, with a throttle. But today, we're going to go mainly off-roading. Tell you what, it's ever so simple driving off-road in the electric uh, Land Rover, eh? Just one pedal. You don't, I'm not even using the brake. The regen is nice and high. It's ever so simple. So you should be coming up to a river crossing any second now. All right. You see a crossing? Oh, it's the best way to wash a Land Rover, that's for sure. Right, do you want to swap? Yeah, let me have a go. Go on then. I'll, uh, I'll grab on the maps, you grab on the steering wheel. So, uh, did you say this does not to 60 in just over three and a half seconds? Don't do that here, for God's sake. <laughs> There's a massive drop down there to a lake, mate. Or uh, put it this way, if you do want to do it, let me out <laughs> and I'll film it. But we're spoilt for choice for picnic spots today, aren't we? So, uh, shall we stop and have a sandwich? Yeah, I'm Hank Marvin, mate. Figured out where we are yet? Yeah. yeah, I reckon we're about here. So that means I reckon we're about halfway through the journey. We've done the easy bit. That was the easy bit. That was the easy bit. 
And as we get further into sort of the middle of nowhere, we're going to be losing the roads and uh, it's going to be starting to get a bit more difficult to navigate. But well, if we're going to get lost, mate, this is the best place and the best day to get lost. It is the absolutely here and cracking. I'm in no rush to get the day over and done with. Oh, it's uh, beautiful. I can see there's no road, so I need all the energy I can get. So I need to finish off this Twix and get going then. Yeah, we better get going. We're starting to run out of track here, mate. Yeah, well, to be fair, we actually need to be going in that direction. So it might be time for us to um, park up and do the next bit on foot. As in, like, into the middle of nowhere? Yeah, as in that way, yeah. Fair enough, mate. All right, I'll park up and we'll get our uh, hiking boots on. All right, so where do you reckon we are? We're here. Yeah. And we need to get over there. There's the centre there, so... What, how, how far is that? It's about two... Two miles. What? Another two mile to walk. Two miles? On, on the top of that little ridge over there. You're going to have to carry me for this, right? <laughs> That's uh, probably the longest. Oh, carry there. I'm not bringing you back. That's the longest I've walked for some time. All right, so we've got to get to, where did you see over there on that other ridge? On that ridge over there. All right, come on in, crack on. Best get it over with. Whose stupid idea was this? That was your idea. Oh, God. So, according to uh, Tim's map reading skills, we are now in the middle of the middle of nowhere. This is officially, I think this stick here marks the very geographical centre of Wales. What do you reckon, Tim? Well, it's a bit underwhelming, really. I was expecting a gift shop or at least a cafe or something. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, that is an underwhelming stick, I'll give you that. I, I feel like we should be plonking a flag in the ground or something. But I tell you what, that's a fair old track. We've done, well, we set off at 10 o'clock. Yep. And it's, what time is it now? Half past four. Half past four. It was 70% left in the uh, Land Rover when we left it, when we parked it up. Hopefully it's still there when we get back. <laughs> and we've walked, what, another two or three miles since. Yeah. So, yeah, that's a fun old day, mate. Yep. Next time I come up with a bright idea for an adventure, do me a favour, stop me, will you? Yeah, I'll say I'm washing my hair. In fact, question for uh, you guys out there. What's a good adventure we can go on? Let's keep it in Wales. We're not going to cross the Sahara, let's face it. But what other good adventures are there in Wales we can do with the Land Rover? But we've got to get home now. And uh, yeah, it's fair to say uh, we are definitely officially in the middle of nowhere. So if next week's episode is a little bit late, please... Emergency services, send the helicopter up to a like middle of Wales somewhere, will you? And on that note, hope you enjoyed this episode and we'll see you on the next one. Fingers crossed. <laughs>